You may have seen the Air Force ROTC cadets in uniform around campus. Murrow News 8's Helen Capron went behind the scenes to find out what lies behind the uniform. An enrollment allocation to field training is one of the most coveted things for an Air Force ROTC cadet, especially when the number available is unknown. Uh, we ended up with 93% nationwide. There was 95% here at Washington State and University of Idaho. But that's compared to last year, which was a pretty low uh, percentage, I want to say mid-60s. And, and it's difficult to predict from year to year because it's fiscally driven. Receiving an enrollment allocation takes a significant amount of work and preparation in order to perfect even the most minute detail. Volume equals motivation, and it's your job to emulate that. You understand? You're not going to get anything worthwhile accomplished at field training if you are not emulating that confidence the rest of the cadets you're leading deserves. You understand that? That needs to happen every time. The second year of the program is not only the most physically demanding, but also requires the biggest time commitment. Cadets are required to complete a minimum of three hours of physical training per week, in addition to a two-hour training lab and bi-weekly Saturday sessions, on top of all of their other social and academic commitments. Um, I'm an RA for the Department of Residence Life at WSU. Um, I work in one of the towers. I'm, directly I'm a direct supervisor of about 28 people on a staff of about 11. Field training preparation takes a lot of time out of my schedule, uh, mostly because of just the stress, but uh, a lot of extra time writing memos. Um, beyond that, I'm pursuing a computer engineering degree. That takes a lot of extra time as well. Class load's pretty heavy. Cadets are guided through field training preparation by older members of the detachment. The semester immediately before cadets leave for training is the most intense, but it also provides the biggest opportunity for growth. You begin to see that evolution where they are coming to and you know, have a sense of you know, what to do and how to do things. They realize that you know, if I read the material that they're, they're giving us, I might do a little bit better. So you know, once we harp that on them, hey, read this, read that, why didn't you read this? Obviously, this is not helping you. So, you know, as the weeks progress, they, you know, read more, understand what we're saying, and things start to click. Uh, and, you know, when things start to click, they start, you know, being a more cohesive team. All of this is done to ensure that when cadets arrive at Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama, they will be ready to uphold the standards set forth for them by the Air Force. I'm proud of every single one of them, and uh, they're going to do great things someday. For Murrow News 8, I'm Helen Capron.